Hi everyone, welcome to today's video. So in this video, we are going to show you how you can create a hole or a cutout effect shape in Canva. So this is something that you can actually do easily in PowerPoint. However, if you are limited to just using Canva, so this video will show you how you can do this seemingly impossible procedure okay, in Canva. So first, this is actually not as easy as you may see in, uh, in, as you may think in just like in PowerPoint because this one uses a certain trick, okay? Sort of like a workaround to make this happen in Canva. So unlike in PowerPoint where in you can bring in two shapes and use the subtract tool, okay? So that you can subtract the circle from the square, for example, in this case, Canva doesn't have that feature, at least not yet. So what you can do is a certain workaround wherein we're going to utilize frames in order to create an effect, okay, a fake effect wherein a shape is as a whole or has a cutout part into it. Now, to start, you need to first choose your image. So you can choose, of course, your image from Canva or you can upload from um, your local desktop. So in this case, I'm just going to use one of the recent images that I have uploaded in Canva. So I'm going to select this one, just like what you saw in the video here, in the picture here. And then what you have to do is first position that image properly in your canvas. So you want to make sure that you already got it in the correct position that you want so that it will be easier for you to do the trick later on. Take note that you can, of course, sort of like do this later on but doing it first would be really easy as you will see on how this effect could be done so the next part is we're going to insert the shape that we are going to put in canva so that uh, let's say i'm going to select the square here and then i'm going to put it over here so i'm going to like uh, hide half of the face of the woman in the image to make it easy i'm going to make it a color that is easily visible on your screens. I'm going to choose this one. And I'm going to sort of like cut out a certain shape, maybe a circle, and make it like you know, visible or invisible in Canva. So to do that, I'm just make some adjustments here. What you're going to do is not to add a shape, but rather use one of Canva's uh, tools, which is the frame tool. So you can see here, if you scroll all the way down under the Elements tab, you should see that you have frames. And then you can click See All to see the different frames available for you in Canva. So there are even basic shapes. There are some sort of like devices. There are some paper cutouts. There are some flowers with our borders. We have some blob here. We have even have letters and numbers. So you have to choose from the frames the shape that you want. So let's say that I want to use a basic circle, okay, for my Canva. So I'm going to select this basic shape over here, which is a frame actually. Now I'm going to get the frame here and I'm going to sort of like position it properly so that it's sort of like the shape that will be cut out, okay, from my image here. So from here, I could now, uh, I will now proceed with the, uh, trick okay that will sort of like hide or make sorry make the circle here occupied with the image so i'm going to duplicate the image of the woman i have in the background so i can simply click that image and hit Control d so that you get a duplicate of the image now what frames do is that they pick up the image that you will hover over it and you can then modify that frame okay the image in the frame as well so that you can position it and show the image as how you want it to be so i'm going to drag this image onto the frame and you will see that canva will sort of like center the shape or the image into the shape but this is not how we want it of course so what you want to do now is you want to double click the frame with the image that you want and because you double clicked it it will sort of like allow you to resize and drag the shape okay the way you want it to be 
So what you're going to do next is you're going to drag it in such a way that you are putting the image over, okay, the image at the back. So you'll just have to really make sure that you perfectly or as much as possible perfectly put the image, okay, into the frame just like how the image in the background is. So see how I'm trying to make sure that the borders of the hat, the hair, uh, the hands are all aligned, okay, from the or with the shape or image at the back. And, and now you can see that I'm sort of like creating this illusion wherein the image in the middle, okay, or the one in the circle frame aligns perfectly with the image, okay, in the back. So you could, of course, keep on trying until you are sure that it fits perfectly and people will not notice what you did. And once you're happy with the uh, dragging and cropping of the shape inside the frame, you can then click outside of that uh, picture and you will see that we now have this effect, okay, like a, f a workaround, like it's a fake hold in there. But actually, there are two shapes, okay, or two circles, okay, in my image. So that is the workaround that I can think of, okay, regarding this uh, lack of feature in Canva. You can imagine that there are actually a lot of applications for this. For example, I could use this to create uh, images with um, texts, okay, as frames. So let's... Try that one out. If you're already happy and you got the result that you want, the effect that you want, then thank you. But if you want some more ideas about how you can use this, let me further show you. So as you remember, there are other frames available here wherein you can even have letters. So let's say I'm going to have a very short uh, word. Let's just I'll just put hey. So under the frames object okay, or element, I'm going to Look for letters and I'm going to click, okay, the letters that I want, okay, on my canvas. Take note, there are even other fonts available for you that you can uh, choose from. But for now, I'm just going to choose the basic one. And then I'm going to bring in the image that I want to fit, okay, into my canvas over here. So let's say I'm going to bring back that uh, woman, okay, from... Canva, so I'll go back to my recent and get this uh, woman's image, okay? And just like what we did in the previous uh, slide, we're going to duplicate this, okay, so that you get a copy of that. And then you start doing the fitting into the frame, okay? And just have to double-click this so that it fits the way you want it to be in the frame. So if you already realize, it's actually good if your image is already cropped the way you want it, okay? So here I already have, okay, the image, okay, at the letter H. I'm going to click outside so that only this part remains. I'm then going to again duplicate the shape or the image and this time I'm going to drag it, okay, for the letter E, okay? And then I'm going to double click it again and drag okay the image resize it just almost the same as how we did it in the previous one and then again align it you will notice that even the image okay from the letter h is visible from your screen so i'm going to align it perfectly like that and then i'm going to do it again but this time this should be the last one so i guess i could just drag okay this over here at the letter y and double click so that you could resize again okay that image okay so i'm going to move it around until i align it perfectly with the previous images that i have and now we have this okay image over here so this is one way to do it. You can, of course, put a shape. And to change this, I'm going to make it a different color. And then just to show you, I'm going to send it to the back. And you can see that I have this effect wherein there seems to be a woman okay, behind the shape. Another effect that you may 
uh, use this is you can um, drag this, okay, the way that we did in the previous images. But this time we're going to make it transparent, okay, super transparent, and drag it okay, to the or over the previous images. And you have this effect we're in. It seems the hay is brighter or more saturated compared to the uh, transparent or the whited out version okay, behind. So this is uh, my workaround okay, in performing this trick in Canva. I hope Canva can sort of like figure this out soon so that you don't have to do this workaround. Now, I hope this helped you if this is the problem that you're trying to solve in Canva. If ever this solved your problem, please, uh, we appreciate your like and subscribe in the channel. And if ever you have any questions, feel free to use the comment section and we'll try to do our best to answer it or even create content for you. And for now, this is it. Okay, I'll see you in the next one.